Hello students. Welcome to the geography class. Today we will discuss components of population growth. These components are birth, death and migration. Let's discuss population growth in detail. Population growth. It depends mainly on the balance between birth and death rate. It is slightly affected by migration. We know what is migration. Migration is the movement of people from one place to another place. The difference between the birth rate and the death rate is either the natural increase where the birth rate is higher. Obviously, when the birth rate will be higher, then population will increase or natural decrease where the death rate is higher or when the death rate will be higher then automatically natural decrease will be there in population. Throughout the history the world population has shown a natural increase but in some cases it will not happen. For example during the times of diseases, plague, HIV, AIDS or COVID-19, which is from this disease we are suffering now. As a result of war, when there was World War I or II, and due to recent improvement in family planning or female education, the population growth or the change referred to the change in a number of inhabitants. Change in number of inhabitants means they can either increase or decrease. It depends on the birth rate is higher or the death rate is higher. Of a territory during a specific period of a time, this change may be positive as well as negative. It can be expressed either in the terms of absolute numbers or in terms of percentage. Here from this picture, it is very clear picture about population. See, if this is population, these are incomings, birth and immigration. Immigration means the people who moved to some areas and from this point, exit point, deaths or emigrations. Emigration means the people, those who are moving from that place. Natural growth of population. This is the population increased by the difference between the birth and death in a particular region between two points of time. And what is natural growth? That is number of birth minus number of deaths. What is actual growth of population? Now it depends on birth minus death plus immigration minus out migration. Next point positive growth of population. This happens when the birth rate is higher than the death rate between the two points of time or when the people from other countries migrate permanently to the region. Negative growth of population. If the population decreases between two points of time, it is known as negative growth of population. It occurs when the death rate is higher than the birth rate or the people migrate to the other places. Let's see the components of population growth here. Birth rate, death rate and migration. Now what is CBR? Full form of CBR is crude birth rate. It is expressed 
as the number of live births in a year per thousand of women and how it is calculated it is calculated through this formula the formula is bi over population multiplied by thousand bi stands for live births during the year p stands for mid year population of that area cdr crude death rate it is expressed in terms of number of population number of deaths in particular year per thousand of population in a particular area and how it is calculated it is calculated by this formula di divided by p multiply by 1000 di stands for number of deaths and p stands for estimated mid year population of that year migration we know that what is migration apart from birth and death there is another factor by which the population size changes when people move from one place to another the place from where they move that is known as place of origin and the place they move to is called place of destination let's try to understand through this diagram suppose this is the place where a person lives that place is known as place of origin and if he or she wants to move to the another place suppose here then that place becomes place of destination now what is immigration when migrants who move into a new place that is known as immigrants what is emigration when the migrants move out from a place then those migrants are known as emigrants types of migration mainly it is of two types internal migration or international migration internal migration refers to change of residence within national boundaries means that can be between state provinces cities or municipalities another type is international migration this refers to change of residence over national boundaries it means when a person moves from one country to another country international migrants are further classified the first one is legal migrants these migrants are those who moved with legal permission of the receiver nation a receiver nation means the nation where they are moving where they are going illegal immigrants are those who moved without legal permission refugees are those who crossed an international boundary to escape persecution can you think of a reason why people migrate the people migrate for a better economic or social life there are two sets of factors that influence migration number one is pull factor two is push factor let's discuss in detail why people want to move from one area to another area suppose this is the place of origin reasons for wanting to leave home regions home regions means place of origin and the people who wanted to shift to somewhere else at any other place the reasons why the city seems attractive now this place becomes the place of destination 
there are some factors because of these factors people would like to move from place of origin to the place of destination let's discuss the reasons for wanting to leave the home are unemployment if they are not getting good jobs then they would like to leave the that place poor living conditions political unrest political unrest means if they are not feeling safe in those areas they are not able to live peacefully unpleasant climate natural disasters epidemics now suppose now we are suffering from covid-19 socio economic backwardness now what are the pull factors pull factors means the factors which attracts the people to the place where these factors are found these factors are better job opportunities good living conditions peace stability security of life pleasant climate so according to these factors people decide or people take decision whether they would like to stay at their home region or they would move to the another city which seems attractive now what are push factors the push factors make the place of origin seem less attractive for regions like unemployment poor living conditions we have discussed these points what are pull factors these pull factors make the place of destination more attractive and the reasons are same which we have discussed earlier better job opportunities good living conditions peaceful area stability security of life pleasant climate etc so i hope you will like this video and we will discuss the next topic in next video thank you so much like and subscribe my channel